You're watching WCJB TV 20 News at 10 with Myra Monroe, Bill Quinlan, and Hank Estengo. Gator fans need a steady dose of orange and blue, and tonight the CW is delivering it for you. We begin a special two-part series on some of the biggest and loudest Gator fans around, the Gator cheerleaders. Athletes in their own right, the cheerleaders are hard at work right now getting ready for Gator football. And tonight's University Connection, WCJB student reporter Bobby Safransky takes a look at Gator cheerleading over the years. The cheerleading program at UF has been around since before Florida Field was built. The first recorded cheerleading squad at UF dates all the way back to the 1900s. These are the cheerleaders of Old Florida. Seven enthusiastic men pumping up the crowd at Florida football games. Pee Wee, Jocko, Hoppa, even their names suggest a different era. A lot has changed. The uniforms are snazzier, the cheerleaders are more athletic, and women have joined the ranks. It started in the teens, I believe in 19, the school year 1916-17, and I think that uh, it was mainly because of the growth of the football program and the feeling that they needed an organized way to encourage people to cheer and to kind of guide them. That was long before the Gators took to the swamp, long before color television. Back then, Gator football was played at Citizens Field. As UF evolved into a first-class school, so did the cheerleading squad, adding more men, doing more sporting events, and even getting a spot on floats in the homecoming parade. I know that uh, when homecoming started, a real official homecoming, and it was in Florida Field in the early 20s, 1924, I think was the first one, the cheerleaders became a lot more prominent. They got more exposure. Perhaps the biggest change came in 1937 when the first woman joined the squad. Her name was Bernice Proctor. Historians believe Proctor was attending UF because the Florida State College for Women did not offer the classes she needed to earn her degree. Soon, more women came aboard, especially after World War II. Norm Carlson remembers the early days. The University Athletic Association historian says he's seen some interesting things over the years at UF. And I'll never forget, I look, I look out and coming up the stairs in the Fairmont are the cheerleaders carrying Albert the Alligator in a cage, of course. Murray will pass again. He throws in 1966, the Gators went to their first major bowl game, the Sugar Bowl in Louisiana, where they faced off against Missouri. In the 60s, the cheerleaders started to compete nationally, a trend that stuck through the 90s. But one thing that didn't stick were the uniforms. And is that supposed to be the feared mascot? Disney actually made the first costume. Costume has evolved over the years. Cheering is a Gator tradition, earning its place in Florida history as much as Gator football. Another thing that's changed over the years is it's very competitive to get on the team. Tomorrow night we'll take you inside tryouts and not everyone will go home happy. Bobby Safransky, WCJB TV 20 News at 10.